about people coming back, finding love, and um, moving on. A big moment for the arts community in our state. The Utah Shakespeare Festival opened its season in Cedar City. In addition to returning from the pandemic closure, it's also celebrating a big anniversary and paying tribute to its founder. Yes, it is. Art specialist Carol Makita brings us the story. COVID restrictions lifted just in time for the Utah Shakespeare Festival to open its three theaters and welcome audiences to what everyone hopes will be a very memorable season. On opening night, Green Show performers entertained audiences on the lawn. Nothing like singing pirates and a couple of mermaids to create an atmosphere. There's no blueprint for producing theater during a global pandemic. Inside the open air theater, executive producer Frank Mack and artistic director Brian Vaughn welcomed theater goers to the festival's 60th anniversary by reminding everyone of the man who started it all. In the wake of our passing of our founder, Fred Adams, this is doubly moving to be here, to see his dream realized, and for all of you to be here celebrating this unique spectacle of 60 years. In 1962, theater professor Fred Adams came up with the idea to do Shakespeare during the summers at then Southern Utah State College. The vision grew, bringing more than 120,000 people to Cedar City every summer, and then a regional Tony Award in 2000. All season, Fred will be remembered. It's our first year back after missing an entire season because of the pandemic. And that adds a really wonderful dimension to the performances. To sing a song that all was sung. Ticket sales are excellent, they say. No social distancing or masks required. Cast and crew call it a reunion. Post-pandemic, it helps heal communities as we gather together and we sit together in a space. We're able to experience and, uh, you know, have a context of what these different feelings are that we are experiencing. Open for business with a season built around overcoming, reconciliation, and renewal. All of those things, I think, are representative of where we are currently in our world, uh, about people coming back, finding love, and um, moving on in and, and, and the wake of great change. So, Shakespeare Under the Stars and more in Cedar City with eight productions, some shows running until mid-October. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News.